Hey everybody, Omega Alden plays Civilization 6 Rise and Fall continues right now with our Zulu run. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the past games where I was rolling negative, um, negative gold per turn. And we had a comment from, I believe his name is Holy Order of Dragons, saying, you know, I should remove some units. They're, they were redundant and costing me a bunch of money. And normally I would say, I think you're, you're correct, Holy Order of Dragons. Um... To my defense at this point, though, I would like to just point out some of the reasoning behind why I kept these things and why I kept incurring such, uh, you know, kind of insane debts. And it was largely a factor of uh, the Zulu abilities. They kind of emphasized keeping armies and cores around... Especially with the loyalty mechanic, so, uh, I don't... One of the special abilities for the Zulu is, obviously, when you take a city, if you can upgrade your unit, it'll get upgraded automatically for you. The other aspect of that is that your guys give loyalty to cities, and loyalty is kind of a big deal in this game. Especially like right now, this loyalty is probably going to be a concern over here. But I'm going to be able to leave a core or army in this city to give it a plus five loyalty bonus and send like a governor across. And hopefully that gives the benefit we need to kind of stop the bleeding there. But uh, yeah, so earlier, like right now I'm at plus 125 gold per turn. But I was rocking like minus, pro I don't remember, I think I might have been up to like minus 60 at one point. Uh, which is obviously super, super dangerous, super risky. Uh, it worked out for us because of the fact that I was getting good uh, spy missions to steal money. I was getting some decent trade deals and whatnot. So, uh, in general, yes, I completely agree with you, Holy Order of Dragons. I was rocking way too many units. I probably should have had less. But right now, I'm, I'm happy to have them. Like, it's going to make this conquest a bit easier. It, is it excessive still? Probably. Probably still excessive. Uh, but we want to try to sweep across this continent and take care of uh, everything that's going on here. So we want to get this cavalry onto the map to try to at least help take one of these cities so we, he gets an upgrade automatically. And let's see, are we kind of wanted to get that rifleman up here, but our field cannon core, sorry. But we're limited on where we can land right now, and that's fine. Let's see. So, yeah, we've uh, made a successful landfall here. I think this city's going to fall quick, but loyalty, like I said, is going to be a problem over there. We're going to have to be ready to move uh, governors over there. We're going to have to be willing to uh, leave behind cores, at least cores, because they get the, pl I think, plus five loyalty. Cores and armies, I believe, with the Zulu thing, give five each, so there's no reason to leave behind an army instead. Unless there's some other benefit to an army staying that I don't know about, which is entirely possible. Let's get another spy built. We were just emphasizing how much that was helping us. I want to just continue to let that help us. And we built this over here to try to make sure to get loyalty in this city because it was struggling before. So let's just move that along. But yeah, so, I mean, what are you guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments what you think. Did I make a mistake by rolling with those negatives for too long? Obviously, it ended up working out for me, but still, it may have not been optimal gameplay. Oh, this, I don't like that he took damage coming in here. We need him to survive. I mean, we don't necessarily need him to survive, but it was the goal. So I would prefer for him to be the one to take a city. But if he's going to die getting there, that's going to be no good. Let's see if we can get him to take it from over here. We're going to have to have him just basically walk in at it at the last possible second, I think. If, if he's going to have any chance of surviving. 
Because there's encampments on both sides that'll probably fire upon him. Okay, so we're, uh, we are taking some heat over here, so honestly, I'm not looking to stick around and try to get that bonus. Instead, I want to just try to take this city. We might be able to take it from this, this unit here and get him upgraded. Okay, we were able to do that, so we still get a benefit there. This knight's in some potential problems right here, but hopefully he doesn't die. We've got this city built. We need to immediately send, like, the... This guy. Uh, he's helping with this one right now. Let's see. Where is it? That city on my list. I want to take a look at the loyalty here, because we're sending a... It's rising by 2.9... That means that it's going to be lowering by, what, 5.1 if, if he leaves? So we're going to have to send somebody else. This is going to add, this knight is going to add 5 to it, but we're going to need to send somebody else to establish over here. So who can we send? Who makes the most sense? I don't want to send him... I don't really want to send our economy person. So, governors. Let's take a look at our governors again. I guess that means we'll send Magnus, even though I think he's getting us a bunch of... Uh, he's the reason we're getting a bunch of food from sending him to that location, but we'll reassign him. And we'll send him to this city, Mataram. It's still going to be a struggle, because we have... It's at negative 11, but it's going to help out some. We need to try to take these cities ASAP, which shouldn't be a problem for us. But we're going to need to just focus on obliterating their defenses. Can we get up here via this? I think we can. That's cool. So we can at least use this spot to land now. You need to heal up. You need to heal up. You can rest. You need to make landfall somewhere. We'll make landfall next turn. And you can heal up from here right now. Keep city. Keep city. Alright, well who's our great person? Uh, Dimitri Men uh, Mendeleev. Triggers a Eureka for chemistry and one random technology from the industrial. And we get plus one error score from him. Let's see, where are we on error right now? Six turns until error ends and we're trying to avoid a dark age, so we need to get a couple more points here. Steam power and chemistry. I'll take it. Combustion is in five turns. I wonder if mining... Hold on. I wonder if uh, getting a source of oil for the first time might count in any manner. So I'm going to get a builder over here just ready for that. Is there anything that can be done to get us to automatically? I don't know. I hope there is because I don't want to be in a dark age, especially not while conquering. Never mind, we're not at war with them. Hello, France. So we are at war with uh, Tamiris of the Scythian Empire. Because she was allies with this, uh, this fine young lady. And we're causing them some strife. Okay, so we need to get ranged... Well, actually, next turn this artillery will... Have blasted away the walls and we'll be able to run these things in. We probably... Once the walls are down, this cavalry here can be safe to come in that way. And put you on alert here. Okay. Our knight survived. That's good. That wouldn't have been terrible, but I obviously prefer to keep my armies intact. Industrial era ends in five turns, so that's uh, 
This is dangerous. Alright, we don't want to move the artillery army because they don't have the promotion for that, so we're gonna fire from here. We're gonna hit it with this knight, and then we're gonna see, can this cavalry make it up here in time? I'd prefer it for him to be the one to take it, so I'm gonna see if we can get him into position here. To take it next turn. I don't think that's gonna be a concern. And let's see, we need to move you to safety. I assume there's a city right up here, but it might... Yeah, it has to be up here, because I don't think uh, this couldn't have been built by... Actually, I can just read where the tile is from. Uh, Tuban. Tuban. Okay, we need to get some guys moved around here just to allow people to heal safely. So you can move into the city to heal. You can sit over here. You need to heal up. You need to make it up here. I guess we could blast away this district before we move forward. Why? Why you can't move there? Okay, can you fire? No, you're ranked two. You have to be ranked three, I think, for that. Which we're not yet. And let's get you up here, out of the water. We can advance a little forward with this guy. He can always break this farm if necessary. But so far so good up there. Like, we, we came in strong. We just need to make sure... Let's take a look at loyalty, because... How many turns do we have? Rebellion in four turns, so what, ideally we take this, and we take this, and then I think it loosens the stranglehold of loyalty over here. But we've got a very limited timetable for that. we got to work within our, you know, restrictions and get all that going. One, two, three, four, five, six... Uh, we could look at building the Statue of Liberty over here just to make this place not takeable by the Kree. That's, like, the only reason it would be here. I, you know what? The city's mostly worthless anyway. Let's just start building the, the Statue of Liberty and see what happens. It's I don't expect it to pop up or make that much of a difference when it does, but obviously it means I can leave that city alone. Okay, let's build a couple farms over here, and then wait for that to be, uh, the combustion to be completed so we can build that oil well. Are there any oil wells over here that we need to look out for? There is one right here, but that takes a different tech. That takes plastics. So let's just upgrade some of these. Let's check out the coastline so we have some idea of what we're up against in the future. Get everybody going to Ulundi. So mobilization is obviously not as useful for us, because normally this would be how you trigger getting armies. Still, it's going to get us a governor title, which we could use to get another location. Okay, so they want to try to take back Matarum from us. I might lose this because of... So that the unfortunate thing of the loyalty is that I, I have to fix that loyalty problem bef immediately. Let's see. Let's have him fire. And then can we... It's at zero. I think this will still work. It did work. Okay. And we got a bonus for him. If he died, it would have been fine, but I obviously prefer this result. Keep city here. Okay, so does this buy us any more time? Falling 10 per turn, so... It may reevaluate. So I, I, I'm still not 100% clear on how all the uh, timing for those work out. Did we buy ourselves, ourselves any time here? I don't actually know. Uh, so this is... Going across here on land is a problem. We prob I probably should have had that 
guy attack the encampment to get rid of it so that we can get through here more clearly. We might want to go across in the water, honestly. This guy doesn't have a clear path anywhere right now because of other units in the way. Fortify here. Uh, rebellion in six turns. Rebellion in three turns. Let's send another governor out here. You know what? Let's send Victor anyway. I, I don't want to send any of the other governors across. We can deal with a minimal loss over here. But we need to be strong on this side if we can get away with it. So we really need to take this turn or this thing almost immediately, which I don't know if we're going to be able to pull that off, but let's see what we can do. Let's get him out here. Let's get him. I think we need to move through the water so that we're not slowed down by this district. And we need you up here. things are to work out for us so hopefully ha having taken that city will have bought us a, maybe a couple turns on that on Mataram loyalty because we're gonna lose it and lose that emergency if the game is gonna be cruel to us which it looks like it might be being cruel to us and especially if we fall into a dark age, we're going to, like, be screwed for loyalty over there. So we want to try to avoid that as best as possible. We could use a housing over here, neighborhood maybe. Let's get a plus six bonus going here. We could definitely use housing here. I guess just get a plus four bonus. Let's see. So this place is in trouble, but hopefully not too bad. Hopefully it's it's not actually in as big of a hurt as we think it is. But we need to try to rush this city to, to free up anything we can. I don't know if we're going to be able to accomplish that, but we will try. And build another farm. Get your lumber mill going. Do a little exploration over here. Okay, did this update at all? That's what I really want to know. I don't want to trade you those things. <laughs> you, you're not calling my... Or you don't think my, my army is a good cavalry unit? You disagree with me here? Okay, so we didn't buy ourselves any more time there. That's horrible. And we need to make land fall over here and fire immediately. We need you up here. Shoot. We need to get you adjacent to the city. I wonder if you wor that works from the uh, water or not. Not positive. So, it's entirely possible that we're about to lose this city and thus lose the emergency. Let's take a look at what happens if we fail target gets plus two combat strength when oh wait no if the members succeed member units gain plus five healing in the target's territory members they get a pool of money if they fail then we get a bonus and more money but i'm worried and expecting that they won't fail here. We can easily take the city back. I mean, there's no... There's no concern here for that. 
but obviously I'd prefer to win the emergency when it comes down to it. I guess we'll move you along. Yeah, and attacking the city right now is, is pointless. We need battering ram next to it to be able to do anything of worth. But I think, I think it's just, you know, we'll probably lose it and that's gonna suck, but we'll get it back almost immediately. We'll take the other city. We'll loosen the stranglehold. And that'll be the end of it. I don't know why I moved, I moved him over here. Let's just go improve this tile. Checking out the coastline of France. It looks a little nice. We've taken a little beating on our field cannon core already. I'd prefer him not to die, so I may just retreat him. Alright, so here's a test, something I haven't done before. Do we get the battering ram bonus now? We do. We actually get the battering ram bonus from the sea. But we're going to lose this next turn unless uh, something crazy happens. Let's see. We'll be in position to take this pretty rapidly. We need to protect this field cannon core. And everything's... We're going to get all thrown around at this point, so... I don't know what's going to be best for where to place some of these units. Right, let's move him up here to help out. Now we've cut off supply there. Let's get you back down here. Maybe they'll fire at this spike and shot. Who knows? I guess I can take a shot with this guy. So, I fully expect to lose that city and therefore lose the emergency, but we'll take this, this city back from the free people. The free cities. It's just annoying. Uh, okay, we were caught, but we successfully evaded detection. That's good. Next turn we can get that oil. That's also good. That bonus production gone. Okay. I'm disappointed in what's happening right here. But. We'll be ready to take it back. Pretty soon. Let's take this city first and then take that one back. This one's easier for us to get to from. Because we'll have this side and if we take that we'll have this uh, encampment taken care of. I don't know where this thing's going to dump all our units. So that'll be something to consider. Here's Mongolia. Yeah, they attacked the pikemen like I thought they would. The Kree attacked me. Declares a formal war against me. France declared a formal war against me. Kree, are you madmen? Do you want to die? Is this about to become free city? It is. We got combustion. We lost. So they actually stacked us on top of in the same spot here. Interesting. All right, let's take this city back. And honestly, we could get this cavalry in there. Well, we want to leave somebody in town. Let's put him in this town. To fortify. And, yeah, we need to try to take this real quick. 
It should be no problem. Get up on land to do an effective attack here. Right, we've broken the walls down. Now we should just be able to take this. I'm not going to wait for a... Actually, wait, we have this. Can he attack it this turn? He could attack it next turn. So we got that going. It should be fine. All of this should be okay. We'll take... Uh, Take this, this turn, we'll take this, like, next turn, probably. I want, hopefully this Cavalry Corps can be the one to take this and become a Cavalry Army. He might die, though, out here. It's possible. Not likely, but possible. And let's move the Field Cannon Corps up here so that he can heal in what's going to be our territory shortly. Spec Ops. Atomic Air Reconnaissance Unit. Pair drop ability allows movement from friendly tile to... Okay. Can attack support units directly without having to eliminate the combat unit first. Interesting. Uh, I think... Combined arms might be good. Let's take a look, because we could get tanks going... Like, better tanks as we get through here. But I don't remember the fastest way to get to them. Composites. Compo oh, it doesn't even need... It requires uranium, so let's get this first just to see where our uranium is. And let's grab this oil. We didn't get a bonus for that, so we are going to fall into a dark age unless, uh, unless I can somehow trigger... Trigger that to be different. I don't think I can. We can't get him in range this turn. Let's get him out of range of being hit. Just move him one space over here. This town falls next turn. We're going to be in a dark age, so... It's going to be annoying taking these things unless they also are falling into a dark age. I don't really know. But... I... I'm worried that they're not going to be falling into a dark age. Alright, let's, uh... Wait, that... 20, 31 turns for that traitor? No, thank you. No, thank you. God, dude. City is awful. Let's start... Work on a builder forever. We would just want to knock this city out as fast as... Oh, oh no. <laughs> He's over here by himself. He might as well make the best use of it and try to knock out those walls so we can take another city. That's going to help us with the... I assume this means they finished this? Oh, they, do they have to have it for the entire time? Is it possible that I didn't actually lose this because it's a 30 time emergency? I thought you'd lost as soon as they completed the objective of defending it. But if that's not the case, then that's perfect for us. And it appears to be not how- No, never mind. There we go. We had a turn to take it back. In order to rally people, go for We had a turn to take it back and we failed. That's, that's okay. What do we have over here as far as things go? Plus 100% combat unit or experience for all units, but plus 2 gold to maintain each military unit. That's going to cripple our economy. We could... Yeah, I don't, I don't think we want to take any of these, even though they might be alright. Sort of. And I, th I think we roll with what we're already doing here. 
We could counteract that other one by taking the... So we could take Elite Forces to get a bonus experience and take Levy and Mass. But... That means we're taking two policy slots just to get the benefit of one. And I would say that that's probably not a worthwhile transaction. You may disagree with me, and that's fine. Okay, we've taken the city back. Let's see what our dedication is going to be for this era. Luckily, let's see. They're also in a dark age, so we're not getting screwed by them being in a better age than us for loyalty reasons. Let's see. To arms. Gain plus one. Oh, yeah. And each time you kill a non-barbarian army in combat. We took this before, I think. And I don't know how much it actually got us, because the enemies aren't building those things yet, but... I think we're still going to bank on them getting them. Oh god, these places are still rebelling real fast. This town's going to fall, and that may help us out here. So let's try to make that happen a little faster. You're about... you're getting close to leveling, so we'll let you fire. And we'll have you run in and take this. Now you're a cavalry corps. We got our cavalry army. <laughs> so, let's see. I don't know how this is going to work out as far as loyalty goes, but we definitely need to start moving over governors. Oh, we do have another point we can put into governors, so... I think we'll get the Diplomat to send over here, too. So the Diplomat can go to Tubin. I know the Diplomat gives us, like, bonus envoys in, in cities, but we need to use... We need loyalty in these cities we're taking. As we crush more and more of the forces, it's not as big of a deal. And this is the capital. If we could take the capital, then a lot of their loyalty crumbles. So we may be best spent uh, taking our time to do this. Oh, you know what? We can upgrade our units, so we need to look at our policies. I think I'll drop Oligarchic Legacy right now in exchange for getting 50% bonus here. And we just need to, we need to move forward as fast as we can here, so we need to not dilly-dally. Let's get our guys. Why, why weren't you able to go there? It said you could go there. Okay, let's get you guys up on land to heal. Well, can you heal fine out here? I think you can. Alright, so we sent that there. Let's send uh, the steward over here like we were trying to do before. And this one's actually fine next turn, it looks like. It's still saying it's bad, but I think it's actually fine. When you look at the governor's screen, gave a more updated view. So, yeah. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Next episode, we will continue this war. We're going to be taking uh, their capital, I think, next turn. Or, not next turn, but definitely next episode. Uh, like the video if you're enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks, everyone.